Hi, I'm Tammy J, you guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about long-distance dating, you guys. What you guys think about that? Long-distance dating has its pros and its cons. You know, um, I know that some of you may not like long-distance dating. You know, you may not like the ideal of not being able to see that person every day or every weekend. Um, and some of you may like the long-distance dating, the excitement of meeting someone. So, that's me. I like that. I like long-distance dating, you guys. So, before we get right into it, please hit that subscribe smash that like and also hit the notification bell you guys so that way when i upload videos you guys will be able to see my video now let's get right into it long distance dating you guys now i can think long distance dating someone wouldn't care for long distance dating if you know they were the type of person that really have to have that person there that connection that being able to see them every weekend or every day um being able to just you know, have that person there with them, wake up next to that person every day, you know, so long distance relationships might not be for you if you're not patient enough, uh, you know, because let me tell you, long distance dating takes a lot out of you. You have to be consistent, you have to be patient, you have to be trusting, you have to be understanding, and those are the things that you have to work on if you want to be in a long distance relationship. Now, you guys, I have been in a couple of long-distance relationships. I can tell you, um, I like long-distance relationships. And, you know, I have people, friends of mine that tell me, you know, girl, I don't see how you do it. I got to see my man. I was like, well, guess what? I'm a little older, so it doesn't bother me to go two, three months without seeing anyone. I don't really need it like that. I work all the time. I have a life you know, and I work. So if that person was here, we probably wouldn't even see each other that much because I work all the time and they work. So the excitement about it I like is I get to go visit them uh, where they live in their state or they can come here or we can go somewhere else on vacation and just have a really good time. That's what life is all about, you guys. It's just waking up, being blessed to wake up every day and living your life and having a good time. And that's what I'm all about. So I don't know what you guys think about long-distance dating, but I just wanted to touch on that today just to see. Some of us like long-distance dating and some of us don't. Some of us really would like that person to be in the same state so you can really get to know each other. But let me tell you guys, one, some of the good things I could tell you that comes out of long-distance dating because I am seeing someone long-distance right now. And we're really getting to know each other. We talk every day since we first met. Um, and we haven't went a day. And I met him in February. We haven't went one day since February. And we talk every day. And, um, and we talk sometimes two, three times a day. Now, in the beginning, we used to talk a little, you know, a little, we used to video chat. We used to um, talk more on the phone. But, you know... Um, he works a couple of jobs and I also, uh, work a couple of jobs and then have other streams of income that I'm working on. So I'm pretty busy as well. But when I get to missing him, you know, I'll call him and want to hear his voice or something like that. Or, you know, we talk every day though. We really do. So it kind of slowed down at first. Um, then we got back, you know, we still never want a day with our talking to each other, but it got kind of rocky in between there, but we're working it out. You know, he's a really cool guy. I like him. Um, he's a really good person. But And that's long distance. He's in another state. So he's more than 15, 16 hours away from me, you guys. So, But that's okay with me. I'm getting to know him. So, you know, if you get to know somebody and you guys get, you know, really close and feel like, hey, this is somebody I want to be with, you guys can always up and move to that state or they move to the state that you're in. Somebody can move. Hey, my kids are, my boys are grown. So if I wanted to get up and move to another state, I could do it. Um, yes, I love my job and everything, but they have jobs everywhere else. And so, you know, you can still always make it so. And you never know. That person may want to come here. So you never know what may happen down the line, you guys, you know, in these long distance relationships. Your soulmate may be somewhere in another state. So, you know, don't. 
don't just cut it, cut it off. You know, just say, if somebody, some people I know, they say, oh, if they're in another state, it's no use to me even talking to them. Hell, do you like to travel? I love to travel. So I love to travel and go new places and um, do things. And I love traveling. The excitement of not seeing that person for three or four months, five months, and then you finally see that person and the chemistry is already there. Guess what, guys? When you get to see that person, that's a real good weekend or a real good week. So I just want to touch on long-distance relationships and um, to tell you guys about, you know, that I'm seeing someone long-distance and how that works work out for me. Now, I did have one that didn't work out, and it really wasn't a relationship. I started seeing someone. Let me tell y'all this story. He is a hot mess. So he seemed to be a good guy. I used to be managing my son. He um, was a, a you know entertainer, a rapper, and I used to manage him. So we used to go go different states, go everywhere. So I met someone, and we hit it off really good. But come to find out, he had five, six women, y'all, when I came to visit him. And the women were coming around. And so guess what? I got up out of that state real fast, and I promised myself. I was never, ever going to hop and jump and go visit someone like that that I really did not get to know more. So I learned my lesson with that one, and it wasn't a relationship. Still to the day, he'd be trying to hit me up, and I'd be like, no go, no go, no thank you. You was a hot mess, sir. <laughs> so, you guys, I just wanted to touch on a long-distance dating, um, see what you guys feel about it. I hope you guys drop something in the comments so we can talk about uh, talk about it and uh, see how you guys feel about long distance dating me. I'm okay with it, you guys. And I just wanted to, sh to touch a little bit on long distance dating. Um, my next video is really going to be about, uh, guess what, guys? I really want to talk about online dating. Online dating. I have done some online dating. I have met someone online before. And uh, rather, it's... Um, if you meet somebody on Instagram, Facebook, Tag, uh, Bumble, you know, uh, uh, black people meet. They got so many date sites that you can be on. And so that's what I want to talk about in my next video, you guys. Again, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Um, I thank all my subscribers that have subscribed. I think I'm up to 27 subscribers. Hey, I'm working it out, y'all. <laughs> It's going to get better. But anyway, I wanted to talk about long-distance dating, letting you guys know about my experiences is when I was long-distance dating. <clears throat> of course, I'm, I'm talking to someone long-distance now. We'll see where that goes, hopefully in a good direction. But no rush. I'm being patient. So again, with long-distance dating, you have to be patient. And you have to be consistent in order for that to work. But if you and that person has that chemistry, it'll work out. So please, you guys... Stay safe, stay healthy, and guess what? I want you guys to do, hit that subscribe, smash that like, and hit the notification bell. So that way when I upload videos, you guys will be able to see my videos. And thank you so much for coming to my channel today. Take care. Bye-bye.